Howdy folks, it's Adriel, the hunting gear guy. Today I want to show you guys a couple of these eBay cheek rests. Now, if you're running a, a pretty high scope on your rifle, you might need one of these just to uh, get your cheek up off the uh, rifle. It's a cheap and non-permanent way of, uh, of adding that extra bulk so you can get right in there and give yourself a little bit of extra. But there are a couple of interesting things that I wanted to show you. Um, one is that the attachment mechanism on these is bonkers that's crazy what they do um and if you just try to cinch it up what you might find is that you run out of cinch space on these things and that's because these are actually meant to be um uh, able to fold in and velcro to themselves and then you pop it through the loop and then you velcro it uh, some of them go on the side some of them go inside like this guy here goes on the inside so uh, this is kind of a, a cleaner look whereas this one kind of goes on the outside i don't know which one i prefer more i kind of like this one because you can actually um, get into the foam here and change out the the size of the padding on this thing so that's kind of interesting uh, the other thing that that's kind of crappy about these they've got like these really slick nylon insides and they actually move around on the buttstock very easily which you don't want from a cheek crest you want to be able to slam your face on there and press it on and uh, you can't do that if it's moving around uh, so this has got that slick crap on the inside but check this out it doesn't move now there's a reason why it doesn't move see that doesn't doesn't want like yeah the, the cheek rest will move a little bit but the actual like the the body of it isn't moving on there and that's because there's um i've put a little bit of two-way foam tape on there and i'm just gonna here i haven't mounted this one yet and i'm just i'm just gonna throw this uh this foam two-way tape kind of on the uh on the rifle stock and what that's going to do is just stick to the inside this one's going to cinch up pretty good so i'm not going to have to worry too much about it but it will still wiggle around a little bit and i don't want that cheek rest coming off the the right hand side as i'm putting my cheek down on it and then squishing out of the way i want it in the way so it's in my cheek there so um give me a second let me put this one on all right with this front strap now i'm going to put my my face on the left hand side of the gun so it doesn't really matter how much crap there is on the uh, right side with the right side i did that doubling up trick on the strap with the back one here it's a little bit too much so what i'm going to do there is i'm actually going to torque her down go through the loop i don't want a bunch of crap on this side because that's where my face is going to be so i'm actually going to go back the other way and then strap it on there so these don't these don't look nice when you've got them on but uh, they are functional so if the girls don't find you handsome they should at least find you handy is a, a very uh, well quoted Canadian quote oh baby that is perfect a little bit quite tight so I really need to smash my face in there but that is just how I like it yeah I've got my scope set up max zoom right now so it's the most touchy and that is perfect my face is right on the front of this guy here which is about where it is usually and here's the important thing it ain't moving it is stuck on there good so i'm probably going to screw around the straps on here a bit just to uh clean it up but uh other than that i am uh i am good to go with this crappy ebay uh, cheek rest now this one you can see it doesn't have the cleanest look afterwards it's uh it's got a lot of straps kind of sticking out whereas this guy here offers a bit more of a cleaner look but all those straps are just kind of on the inside there uh this one offers less adjustability um this actually wouldn't work on that stock over here but it works fine on this marlin and uh oh you know what I'm gonna have to get that out of the way of that sling stud. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do there. I might have to move this guy a bit further forward just so so I clear that sling stud there because there's not really a lot of options. Oh, maybe I, I can just scooch it out of the way. Yeah, I'll just scooch it out of the way. This one's got some shell holders on the side which are useless because I'm running a 22 here. Does it come off? There we go. Oh, now I got room for patches. Sweet. Anyways, thanks for watching.